Hey, my name is Rehart and you're watching App Explorers Huawei Edition, the show where we look at only the best apps and games for your Huawei smartphone. In this episode, we look at some of the most interesting games we've played in a long time, and they're all about creating or crafting games. There's a Minecraft clone that lets you be very creative, and we show you a game that lets you make your own games. So cool. Then we look at a new gaming addiction of mine, Snake.io, and yes, that's the game you've probably played, but not like this. Later in the show, we'll also tell you about Apps Up, an awesome competition that gives African developers a chance to win some big prizes. So if you're a developer, you don't want to miss out on this. If you'd like to discover more apps and games, please check out our website at appexplorers.com and do drop us a message if you have any questions or want to recommend your favorite app. Let's get into it. Mini World is a free-to-play 3D sandbox game about exploration and adventure, and that lets you create your own world in the palm of your hand. If the game looks familiar, it certainly does. This game is very much like Minecraft. What makes it such a great game to play is that there are no in-app purchases that you have to buy or points to try and earn. You simply create and survive. There are three game modes to play, survival, creation, and community games. In survival mode, you collect resources to build tools and shelters to survive. As you craft and upgrade, you eventually face off with monsters in the dungeon, which you can do alone or with friends. In creation mode, players are given all the resources from the start of the game, giving you all the freedom to create. You can build anything from floating castles to a map that plays music. You'll be surprised with what the game will allow you to craft by combining items. One of my favorite elements of Miniworld is the community created content. Just scrolling through the list, you'll get a sense of what players have crafted, and it's pretty epic. The game controls work surprisingly well, and certain actions like jumping is handled automatically, and mining resources simply require you to click on them. As you start the game in survival mode, you are guided on your path to create tools you need to survive. Once you get the hang of things, it becomes much easier, and the games become loads of fun. Of course, while the game is free to play, you can customize your character and buy items you can use in-game by redeeming cash for coins. There are some handy items which you'd likely want to buy as you get stuck into this game, so if it's a game you love, then I always encourage you supporting the developer. Mini World is a fantastic game if you've never played something like Minecraft before. It's a great game to let kids be creative with, and even adults will find the art of crafting interesting buildings or other elements rather fun. I cannot emphasize enough how much you can build and craft in this game. It's truly impressive. I highly recommend you get this game and check it out. Link in the description below. We all remember Snake as probably the first mobile game that we have played. Well, there's a new version out there that you may or may not have seen. I'm being vague here because there are so many clones about, but I found this one to be very good, and it's Snake.io. The premise is simple. Guide your snake around the map and eat everything in sight. Grow as long as possible and outlast the other players. There are three game modes to choose from, but I think Battleground and Infinity are by far the most exciting. In Battleground, you play a Battle Royale style game where the map shrinks as you try and outplay your competitors. Infinity, on the other hand, is where there's no time limits and things get really crazy. The leaderboards are a great way to stay focused on your progress and you can see your personal best scores in the app too. In the game, you can earn coins or buy some to unlock wardrobe items for your snake and abilities that you can use in the game. While I don't see too much need to spend money on coins in this game, I did pay the 50 bucks or so to remove the ads. It's money worth spending if you enjoy this game as much as I did. You can of course earn coins by completing tasks and watching ads in game, which is also not the worst way to rank up your snake. Snake.io is one of those quick fun games to play when you want to kill a few minutes. There is a surprising amount of strategy involved and it's loads of fun to outmaneuver another player. There's also something soothing about just gliding around the map, devouring food items and growing and long as powerful as possible. This game is great for all ages and it's loads of fun to challenge your friends to the highest score. Sadly, there are no in-game friends list capabilities, but that's not a deal breaker. You can download Snake.io from the link in the description below. Developers, listen up. The Huawei HMS App Innovation Contest is just around the corner and entries close on the 5th of September 2021. Best of all, there's $200,000 in prizes up for grabs. The Apps Up competition aims to inspire talented developers across the globe to create seamless, smart and innovative digital experiences and explore the future of digital intelligence. 
By highlighting pioneering HMS open capabilities, the competition gives app developers the tools to build tomorrow's all-connected world. The competition is in full swing, with South African team entries leading the way in the Middle East and African region. Other team entries are coming from Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Kenya, Zambia, Uganda, Mauritius, Ethiopia and Tanzania. So if you think you have a game-changing app or the next big mobile game, enter the Huawei Apps App competition now. Participants must register an account on the official Huawei developers website. Applicants can sign up as either an individual or as a team of up to three members. All apps entered must be developed by integrating HMS Core Kits and submitted on the competition's official website by 5 September 2021. Check out the link in the description below to find out more about the app's up rules around registration, submission and deadline details. Epic Game Maker, listed as Game Maker 2D platformer sandbox creator on the app gallery, is an indie game developed by Electric Punch Sandbox Games that is essentially a game in which you make and share the levels. It's a simple concept and perfectly suited as an indie game for your mobile phone. Epic Games Maker is essentially a retro looking platformer, much like Super Mario Bros., in which you fight monsters and magicians to collect points. There are a few ways you can play this game. Either you play one of the hundreds of online maps created by other users, or you can play and build one of your own maps. I was not surprised to see a Mario Bros. clone map in the top 3 slot, and it's quite fun to play and learn how to use a game on this level. You can even play a random map at the touch of a button. Building levels and placing enemy traps is pretty easy. Simply find the element you want and place it accordingly. You can choose from various level styles and backgrounds and then start to build your level as you see fit. Epic Game Maker is a fun and original mobile game that I cannot get enough of. You can download it from the Huawei App Gallery now, link in the description below. And that's it for this week's episode, thanks so much for watching. If you have a favorite app on the app gallery you'd like to recommend, please drop us an email at show at appexplorers.co.za or leave a comment below. We'll be back with another show soon, so keep your eye on the website for more app and game reviews. Until then, happy apping.